Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habitu fi Allah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Ahabatifillah, it came in a narration from our Salaf al Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim, in an ather of Fudail bin Iyad, in which he stated, Lem yudrik indana men adraka bi kathra to siyam, wala salat, wa innama adrak indana. Bisakhal anth, anthus, wa salamat al sadr, wa nas lil ummah. Fudail bin Iyad, rahimahullah ta'ala, he stated that it wasn't that we contained, and here he's from our salaf, from the tabi'een, which by tabi'een, these generations, he said it wasn't that we had a lot of fasting, you know, during you know, from the people that we met and knew, meaning from the tabi'in. Well, a salat or a lot of prayer, extra nawafil. But rather, what what we did have was sakhal al anfus. And a healthy heart. Nas or nus lil ummah. And advice for the ummah. This is the trait of the Salaf al Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim, that it wasn't always that having the kathra to ibadah, so much ibadah, but rather they had something. They had healthy hearts and they were advising and guiding the ummah through their methodology, through their menhaj, through the deeds that they did and through their advice and good adherence and exhorting others to adhere. To the Sunnah of the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam. So it isn't always what we learn from this, the shahid, or meant some of the lessons that we learn from this uh, narration, is it shows us how important it is to protect your heart. Even if you don't have a lot kathra to ibadah, that the ibadah to qalbiyah at least, you know, if you don't have a lot of outward uh, worship, then by having the superior, uh, easy ways of remembering Allah, like dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, <coughs> and by working on your heart, Working on your heart. Salamat al-qalb. So by having a sound heart, you're in a better position to advise. Advise the ummah through da'wah ila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and setting a precedence and setting an example for others. And it goes, it's evidenced from a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we've mentioned many times where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna fi jizid mudgha, idha salaha salaha jizid kullu, wa idha fasadat, fasadat jizid kullu, ala wa hiya qalb. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna fi jizid, verily in the heart is a, a morsel of flesh. If it is healthy, the whole uh, body is healthy. If it's sick, the whole body is sick. Verily, it's the heart. And this shows us how important it is, as Fudail 
highlighted salamat al-qalb. Taking care of your heart as a believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Striving your utmost to safeguard your heart from spiritual sickness. From wicked and sinful traits and deeds. Things that are un-Islamic. Things that lead you away from the remembrance of Allah. So I advise you, my brothers and sisters and myself to work on our hearts. Work on what we put in our hearts. Work on the pe work on the situations uh, and the environments that we engage in. Work on and look to having good, righteous companionship. And be away from those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is displeased with. Lastly, I want to remind myself and my brothers and sisters to listen and take heed of those athar of the Salaf al-Salim, Ridwan Allahi alayhim, and to benefit from this athar, and that is by being a source of good throughout your life, showing an example of Islam, advising the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with good, sound knowledge, because advice has to be built upon ilm and sincerity. So being sincere in how we address one another and sincere in our advice for one another and through our examples that we set for one another. And lastly, taking care of the heart. Because if you do, for example, a lot of prayer, maybe you never miss your sunnahs, but your heart is always busy with the dunya, then this person has not gained the full benefit. Rather, they may even incur sin, depending on the how or the state of the person's heart. But the one who just prays their five daily prayers with sincerity and giving the conditions for prayer and the, and the, the, the comfort in the heart and the obedience and the ta'a with sincerity, then this person is in a better situation than the one who does a lot of ibadah, but their heart is never on uh, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So working on the heart is imperative for you and I. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa